Hey all my sysadmin, it's Lex from pdq.com. Yes, I am upright and caffeinated. I hope you are too. I'm gonna to take you through in this video how to build a smart schedule. Let me lay the foundation. I wanna build one schedule, we'll say to deploy Chrome in this case, but I wanna be able to send it to different groups, right? Like group one gets it on this week, group two next week, so on and so forth, group three, four, five. I'm gonna take you through how to do that using one schedule and some PowerShell. First thing you need to do, we need to go and we need to build a custom field. In this case, custom field, I called it group ID, okay? Added that and then, again, you need to populate this. So the machine bugs bunny, group ID is, the group ID is five, okay? I did this, it's easy to import and export, so basically what I did was I exported a file that had the computer names and then I went and filled out the group IDs that way and then imported it. It was pretty quick. Let me just give you a quick view of what that looks like, okay? All your custom fields go in the computer table. So there's my group ID. We'll just run this against all computers. You'll notice they've all been part of some group at this point. Second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna need to build a variable that PowerShell is gonna change for us moving forward. So we'll go to options and variables. You'll notice I have group ID one now, it is case sensitive, you gotta spell it right, so group ID one, okay? In this case, I put a one in there. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna make a uh, collection, a dynamic collection that we're gonna nest to build a production uh, Chrome old collection. So the first thing again, let's build the group collection, okay? And we are gonna look for all machines where the group ID uh, equals and we're gonna go grab that variable that we just built, which is group ID. If I hover, you'll notice group ID is one at this point. When I save this, here we go, group ID one. I've got nine machines in group ID one. Just to show you how this changes, right? We're gonna to go to our variables. I'm gonna go change that to a two, okay? When I exit this, okay, Babbitt Costello should be changing group ID two. And if you really wanna see how this looks, um, it's always good to copy your variable, put it in the description so that you can see what it is there too. Boom, so group ID two. All right, now I'm gonna build a nested collection because PDQ keeps the collection library up to date, in this case, uh, Chrome old, right? We maintain this for you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a production one that we'll point our schedule at that'll take care of the groups and Chrome old. To do this, you're gonna build a new dynamic collection. We're gonna call this uh, production-chrome. Okay, I am going to do this. We are going to put the variable in there so that we know that, uh, that we know what the group is. Group for this group, right? And then in the computer table, we're gonna go add um, collections. So we're gonna select collection is a member of, and it needs to be a member of Chrome old. Internet browsers, Chrome, Chrome old, okay. And we're gonna do that exact same thing, is also a collection or a member of the collection of group, okay. Now, if I give that an okay, Chrome production now has seven machines that are in Chrome old. You'll notice Elmer Fudd, these guys are also in this, okay. And again, let me just go and do this. We'll just change that variable to see that change. We'll change it back to a one. Exit this, get out. Okay, the group ID now has changed to one and those are the machines that are in Chrome old in that. So at this point, I can now go and build my new schedule off of Chrome, right? Chrome, new schedule. Okay, we'll call this uh, prod Chrome. So this is our production Chrome schedule, right? And now triggers, just our standard weekly trigger, right? We're gonna run this on Friday. We'll do it after hours at say, I don't know, 8 p.m. Okay, targets. We're gonna use that production Chrome that we built. Right down, right down here, it's gonna open up production Chrome. Again, that production Chrome, it's a, a nested collection, again, of both Pro Chrome, production Chrome, okay? Chrome old and part of that group. Okay, package and then options, stop deploying to targets once they succeed, we give that an okay. So this Friday, eight o'clock, it's gonna go against production old, or production Chrome, which is group one, okay? 
which is all fine and dandy. How do we change that using some code and an additional schedule? So here's the PowerShell for that, okay? Basically what we're gonna do in PowerShell is we are gonna go and do a, uh, a SQL query to go pull what the current value of that um, group ID is. Okay, again, group ID, you'll notice spelling matters here, okay? And then I've got five groups, so it's, you may have to change if you have more than one group, five groups, whatever, okay? If it's less than five, it just increments. What's the next one, okay? And then it finishes. If it equals five, the next, it's gonna reset the group to one. So let's just run this to see what happens. We run it, group ID saved with the value of two. Okay, so now it has been changed to two. We minimize that, you'll notice there it is, two, okay? So I now have that. How you make this all work so that you don't have to make it a, a big change is you build a new um, package and you put that Chrome. I just copied and pasted it in here, okay? So now, all this job is, is going to go and increment that variable by one until it's five and then reset it. Okay, we'll save this. Now where it matters that you run this, right? We are going to build a new schedule. This needs to be run against the console, okay? So we'll, we'll just call this increment, okay? Increment, wow, there's a not a V in there, increment, okay? Triggers, we're going to run this a day later. So Friday, it's going to kick off. We'll run this Saturday, it doesn't even matter when. So I guess we're gonna run this at uh, noon on Saturday. Okay, it's gonna change that. Targets, we're gonna run this against the console. Anytime there's a period, it's gonna run against the, the home machine. There's our package. You do need to make sure this one continues to run, so do not stop deploying to targets once they succeed. Okay, offline settings, target history, um, options. The other thing we're probably gonna do is this, right? Scanning. Um, do not scan after. We don't need to scan anything after. So we're gonna give this an okay, boom. So when this kicks off, it's gonna increment. So at this point, we know Chrome's gonna run because you've seen that before. Let's just uh, kick off this increment schedule really quick. We'll start schedule right now, let it run. It's gonna run, there you go, it's running. Deployments, it's running against this. It's six, it, uh, 52, there we go. It's finished, it's successful. We'll go take a look at the log. It has changed it to a value of three. It was at two before. So now when we go back to inventory, check it out. Next week, it's gonna do Chrome group three. And there you go. All right, a lot of moving parts there. You might have to play this a couple of times. Okay, custom field, okay, if you wanna do it that way, right? Custom variable, you're gonna change that variable. Okay, nested collection, Chrome old, and it has to be part of this. It'll all work for you guys. Check it out. One schedule and it'll update different machines every week so they don't have to hit them all at once. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.